G'day folks, welcome to this snapshot of the invasion of Juno Beach. This is part of uh, Intermediate Scenario 4, O Canada. And I've played through this invasion overlay before, plus a few others. Uh, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing in detail. I just want to show you how this particular invasion played out. But before I get into the details, I've got to show you what's going on outside at the moment. Now, just to give you some context, we've gone through one of the worst droughts in our history. Uh, we had raging bushfires. We had bushfires just a couple of hundred metres over the back of our house here. Uh, we then had, in January, these raging floods, um, which shut down a lot of parks and roads in our area. Then the pandemic hit, and now it's bloody well snowing. Um, it rarely, I mean, it, it, it does snow here sometimes, but very rarely, and now it's, um, it's coming down beautifully. We don't get the kind of heavy settling snow like you do in North America and Europe. This is a, pretty much about as heavy as it gets, but it's beautiful to see. All right, back to the action. Um, the initial landings were difficult for the uh, 3rd Canadian Infantry Division. A lot of cohesion hits along the beach, as you expect with nests starting at 8. Uh, we have obstacles at eight, uh, 5, gaps at 5, uh, nests at 8. My plan, uh, the way this played out, was I reduced gaps immediately to three. I also quickly brought gaps down to about seven and then six, just to reduce their kind of the worst of their damage effects. Unfortunately, I lost two of these DD tanks to the sea state. I rolled two sixes in a row to eliminate them. It was just devastating, but two made it ashore. Um, I then kind of reduced gaps, uh, not gaps, sorry, obstacles and nests equally, got them down to sort of three and then two, then one together just to minimise the effects of both those rolls. We opened our first gap over here and you, on the far left and you can see a couple of units here, one of which is I think those DD tanks and of course the engineers who will soon clear that minefield. I think the second gap opened here and we managed to get, I believe these are engineers, yep, so engineers through there. And then the third gap opened here and again some engineers made it through but they suffered a step loss. Now, apart from those two DT, DD tanks, this is the only step loss we've suffered, and they suffered that whilst trying to move through that gap um, adjacent to this Vitistan nest, which, yes, I'd like to get rid of. Uh, uh, to this point, there is only one eliminated Vitistan nest, but you can see two cohesion hits here, two cohesion hits here, so we've almost eliminated those one-step units. So we are the gaps are now open, and we are making our way through these gaps uh, at the end of the 0700 turn. I'm pretty happy with how things have gone. As I said, two DD, two DD tanks lost, one engineer step, uh, and a couple of cohesion hits built up. Um, but otherwise, a lot of healthy units, a lot of full strength units, um, and units gradually making their way off those landing beaches. The Germans of the 716th Infantry Division are moving quickly to reinforce. You can see here these guys moving up into bernier sur mer uh, They've already suffered, uh, I believe, a cohesion hit. And there are more forces moving off, you can see down the bottom left here, into Corsels. The, the plan, they've decided to make a forward defence. They're going to occupy these city hexes with their minus three defence modifier for infantry to try and really hold the allies to these beach overlays before they can advance off the beaches. Uh, I think the next, so we're heading into the 0900 turn and this next chip drawer is gonna be very important. If the allies can get this first, they can potentially move up and block their ability to reinforce this area. And again, over on the right here, they may be able to move around. If the Germans go first, they'll be able to move straight into uh, that area, uh, I think. <laughs> Um, keeping in mind that the Germans don't have command points. The, the 716 doesn't have any command points. They roll poorly on their command roll, so they've got zero. They can't move into the fire zone of these armoured units, so they can't move in here, but they could move around the back way into there, I think. They might be able to make it. I'll have to check that. Um, but that's their plan anyway, to kind of make this forward. Rather than pulling back, keeping in mind this is just a two-day scenario, um, on this larger uh, nemesis scenario map. They want to really hold those beaches and, and stop, make it difficult for the 3rd Canadian Division to get to the beach. So, uh, yes, the Allies quietly confident, but of course it's just the first turn. Uh, 
And as I said, I just thought I'd show you how this particular invasion played out. All gaps are open with engineers and a couple of other units having moved through the first three gaps that opened. All right, I will have a full scenario report on this scenario coming up uh, in a couple of days.